perhaps we'll start, and let me say at the outset, I'm very, very impressed by the timekeeping. It's unbelievable. But uh, anyway, good morning, everyone. And I hope you had a, an enjoyable evening last evening. And I hope uh, the members are well rested because you have a hard morning ahead of you. In fact, a whole half day ahead of you. Um, I would also uh, welcome back um, our viewers online, Falsha. Um, yesterday, we recommenced our consideration of the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution. It was a very informative day, but one which may have been slightly more challenging emotionally and in every respect, I think, than we experienced at our last, um, last meeting. We heard about the care paths available for those given a diagnosis of fetal abnormality. We heard about the legal position in Ireland and internationally on the termination of pregnancy in circumstances of fatal fetal abnormality. We then considered moral arguments around the status of the unborn of the fetus. I hope um, you took on board the arguments on both sides of the debate that you may have not previously considered. Today, we will consider the Eighth Amendment as part of a broader framework. Dr. David Kennedy of Trinity College Dublin is here to present to us this morning on the ways, the ways laws are made and changed in this jurisdiction. Um, this is intended to assist you in understanding the legal consequences of recommendations you may make to the houses of the Oireachtas in due course. You will then be afforded a quiet opportunity to consider individually how your understanding of the way laws are made and changed will impact in due course on your personal approach to the topic of the Eighth Amendment. We will explain more about this later this morning, but I think perhaps at this juncture it is important that in the interest of transparency that I make it clear that uh, the group work exercise will be conducted not by reference to the Eighth Amendment, but by reference to lawmaking and changing in other areas. And I'll just give you two examples. Uh, the existence of the death penalty being one, and uh, consumer protection being another. Um, the ensuing individual reflective exercise will be informed by what you have learned from Dr. Kenny and from what you have learned from the group discussion. Um, finally, um, you will consider what further issues may require consideration in order to make recommendations to the Oireachtas. And um, at this stage, I will call on Dr. Kenny to address the Assembly. Thank you. 